hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will be adding smoke effect to our car so whenever we press brakes in high speed the car tires will create a smoke effect okay so for that what I want you to do is in the game folder create a new folder by the name of prefabs and then open up this prefabs and in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop this smoke dot prefab make sure that you go ahead and download this as well okay when you add that after this you can open up the car body and in here you will find wheels model so let's duplicate it move it down below change its name to wheels effects okay and in here open up all of these four wheels and we're gonna delete everything inside this wheels okay so just press ctrl to select this then uh, uh, press shift key and select all of that like this okay so delete that and now as you can see this is just empty game object set up on the wheels okay and now in all of them just simply drag and drop this smoke effect okay so front back then front right and back right okay let's select the effect as you can see we can't uh, see the effect so we're gonna select all of the effects and uh, reset its transform so now as you can see this is the effect right here and they are all in the upward direction we don't want that so we're gonna move it actually we need to do that one by one okay but first let me play it as you can see this is the effect I want this in the backward direction so make the rotation y minus 90 okay let's do minus 90 here but as you can see these two are now on the front side so we're gonna select these two and change it to just 90 okay so now as you can see they are all in the backward direction so after you set up the smoke effects okay then go ahead and open up your car controller script and in here we're gonna create another header now and this will be sounds and effects okay now let's create a reference to a particle system okay and that will be our smoke effects because they are particle systems okay we're gonna make this an array and then let's name this as smoke effects okay and also go ahead and create a private bool by the name of smoke effect enabled by this we will just simply check if the smoke effect is already emitted or not now let's scroll down and right here we're gonna create a new method by the name of enable smoke effect this is gonna require a bool and let's name this as enable and in here what we're gonna do we're gonna add a for each loop and we're gonna say that for each particle system which we're gonna name as smoke effect in the smoke effects okay this is smoke effects uh, array which we created right here at the top okay and this should be just smoke effect okay so in each one of them if it is enable okay then what we're gonna do we're gonna play it okay so we just simply gonna say smoke effect dot play so this will uh, start emitting and then if the enable is false then we're gonna just simply say smoke effect dot stop okay and this will stop emitting 
now if we move up right here at the top in the where it is right here okay so now when we are breaking then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check that if the smoke effect enabled is not true okay and if that is the case then what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna call the enable smoke effect method and pass true to it okay and this will simply uh, enable the smoke effect okay when breaking for the first time or you can say when breaking and then after this we're gonna set the smoke effect enable to true okay that is all then we can uh, copy this whole if condition and in the else block we're gonna paste it okay and this time we're gonna say that if it is enabled then set it to false and set this one to false as well now go ahead and save the script get back to unity you will find this smoke effects array right here and what we're gonna do we're gonna lock this inspector open up this whole wheels and select all of the four smoke effects and drag and drop it in here okay that is it let's now close that and also let's disable that i mean uh, unlock that and then if we play the game so as you can see this is our vehicle now if we start moving and press brakes as you can see the car produce the smoke effects okay all right so it is looking good so in this way you can add smoke effect to your own vehicle and now in the next video we're gonna add the marks to our tire okay whenever we drift or whenever the car uh, takes a sharp turn in high speed we're gonna create a mark on the road but for that see you guys in the next video